Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, um, I know I keep doing these puzzle games, but I actually really like puzzle games. So, hopefully some other people do out there and me showing you some of these ones are going to help you find some other new puzzle games that, pe that you would enjoy playing. So, this is a new-ish uh, game from a little indie developer called Host of Fuel, and it was published by Quantum Astrophysics Guild. The Quantum Astrophysics Guild. All right, okay. And um, basically, what it is is a little physics bouncing game where you've got a level playing field in the middle, and you, you're when you hit your ball or cube to the bottom one, it bounces, and it, when it comes back, bounces back up. And that's the gist of it. But anyway, before I go more into the uh, the game here, uh, if you're new around here, it'd be great if you could subscribe. And if you like this type of content where we look at random games like this, uh, drop us a like and a comment and stay tuned for other ones. Uh, I like to try and find random games that people might not have seen or sleeper hits maybe even uh, but some some of these puzzle games i really like because they're just a little bit more relaxing and they make you think and keep your brain active so d level is a puzzle game which basically revolves around two cubes and a separated line of gravity in the middle and you've got to try and turn on all the lights before getting your two cubes to the exit now that might sound very simple and I suppose in to some extent it is. Uh, and then the levels get particularly more difficult. Um, you've obviously, if you fly your cube too far to the uh, left or right, and it flies up or down for, the, for each of the cubes, you die. Um, and the cubes can, obviously you can jump them over gaps, you need to avoid spikes. There's certain things where you have to be bouncing to get to a certain height. There's obviously the top and bottom grounds are mirrored, so to speak, of the gravity level is one top and bottom. And to get all the things turned on and then get to your home takes time to figure out what's going on. So the game consists of 10 worlds which have 10 levels. And each of those 10 levels, if you complete it without dying, all 10 levels without dying to get the star, you can get a bonus level. And then there is another question mark level where you can get that as well. So then there's basically 12, 12 levels with of each of the 10 worlds if you can complete all of the levels. The general feeling I get with this game is when you figure it out, or when you figure out a level, it's like, oh, what about that? Or what well, thought of that? I'll try this or hmm, I wonder if that would work type of thing. It makes you think about how to finish each of the levels and keeps you actively thinking how to achieve the requirements to get the exit to obviously work. And then there's the added uh, added situation where you need to play it with uh, complete the levels without dying to get the stars to unlock the bonus levels for each of the areas the game's music is retro we feel okay enough but can tend to get a bit annoying if you're struggling with another level because it's the same type over and over again it does change per world, so if you fly through the world, you know, neither here or there, is it? But it can get a little bit too annoying. I have turned off the music when playing the game for a while once, just to get rid of it, because it stops you from being able to think slightly, if you're humming the tune or something away with the, the game. Um, obviously, the game has zero story, has zero... There's zero nothingness to it. It's, it's it's a game that could have been done with five five well four colours on the on on a NES. 
the concept of this type of game and the actual creativity behind it's really good it's got really clever puzzle design and some of them are really simple but some of them are really difficult the but the concept of how it works is very similar i'd say the first four or five levels of each of the worlds seem very repetitive so although it says you know although you gain 120 levels you're probably only getting 60 probably a bit less that actually are challenging the and that you know neither here or there the thing is this game i paid about i think it was 69 pence for on the playstation store and it's also been that price on uh, the switch as well which is crazy cheap for something like this you can just play it for an hour or two and you've got your money's worth already the as i said the only gripe i've got with it is the music's a little bit dull at times and repetitive and the difficult ones actually are challenging are, are less than the easier ones um and like i say it's on the ps4 there's no way they need to put this on a ps5 to play it and it is enjoyable and there's going to be no end of games on the playstation 4 which are still ridiculously good probably coming out in the next two three probably even four years if not more that don't require the playstation 5's oomph and yet are still very very good games so obviously as you can see i'm just playing through the first world here i do the last part of the game of this world as well on the bonus level and then i go into the second world to show you that the you know the colors change and the uh, music and vibe changes but if you want to know more about the game just drop me a comment down below and uh, i hope you enjoyed looking at this random game and i'll catch you on the next one goodbye bye